Hi, my name is Andy Wilcox, I'm an approved electrician, and I just quickly want to take you through exactly what an EICR is and what it involves. So an EICR, an Electrical Installation Condition Report, used to be called Periodic Inspection and Testing, but they love to change the names of things. So even these days, you still hear horror stories of things that happen in properties where people are electrocuted or fires happen. So it's a really important test that we can go in and we can test the electrical safety of that electrical installation. And there are set time periods for um, the time in between tests, for a domestic house, it's usually 10 years before we do the next test. In rented properties, it is five years before we have to do the test again. And it changes dramatically through different other types of properties like commercial or factories or hospitals. They have to be tested more regularly. So on average, I allow four hours for a domestic property because most domestic houses, they have got a fuse board which has got, on average, eight circuits in that. And I allow half an hour per circuit. So that gives me my four hours. So half a day from most houses. More circuits and that, more fuse boards, bigger fuse boards, they will take longer, but on average, I like to say four hours. And the reason it is quite long is because we have to test every single cable in that house. Now imagine all the cables coming out of that fuse board, going to all the lights and all the socket. We have to test every single cable to make sure it's safe, as well as every single socket in the house, every light switch, every lighting point, we have to make sure that it's electrically safe. So that's why it takes a little bit longer because actually it is quite an involved job. So the purpose of this test is to check for danger. Danger of electrocution mainly, and also danger of fire. That's what we're worried about when we're dealing with electrics. So that's what the test does. It looks through everything in the property to make sure that it is safe from those things. Also, another thing I like to do, if I find things, if I find um, observations, as we call them, on the test, I will make a video of all those observations and I'll show you on the video what needs repairing and what the problem is, and I will send that to you so it makes it clearer for you to understand. So I just quickly want to take you through all the different types of tests we do, because there are quite a lot. Um, firstly, we'd start off looking in the fuse board and we would take the earth measurement reading in there to make sure that that earth coming in is good. We'd also go and look for if the bonding is in place. So that's bonding usually to the gas and to the water or to the oil. The next test that we do is called continuity of CPC, and that sounds very technical, but basically what that is, is making sure that the earth is running everywhere. So the earth conductor is going to all the lights, all the sockets, and all the switches, and all the outlets throughout the property to make sure that there's an earth there. The next test is continuity of ring circuits, and that sounds technical again, but when you have sockets, usually in a property, or especially in a domestic property, they are running a ring, so they come out of the fuse board, they go around all the sockets, and then they come back into the fuse board again. So that is the next test. We are checking that that actually is a ring, and it's not broken somewhere, because that could be dangerous. So the next test we do is insulation resistance. So we are checking the insulation on the cables throughout the house, because in older properties, or maybe there's been some damage somewhere, where um, mice like to eat cables, uh, the cables might be caught between something, or it might be just that over time that cable is deteriorated. So that test, that insulation resistance test, will check that all the cables are complying to standards and they are in a safe condition. The next test is a polarity test, and that just checks that the live is going to the right terminal and all of those sockets and switches and lights. So it's just a simple polarity test. The next test we do after that is called earth fault loop impedance, and that's taken usually at the furthest point on that circuit. So every socket and every light and smoke alarms and immersion heaters, they have to have that earth fault loop impedance test on there. And that test tells us whether the fuse will blow in time if there's a fault on there. The next test after that is the RCD test. I want to see whether that RCD is going to trip in the stated times that it do, because it's really important to have RCDs on circuits. So I want to see whether it's going to trip under fault conditions and in a specific time set in the regulations. So then we'll also look at the condition of the installation. Is there any heat damage to anywhere? Can we see any burning that's happening? Um, is everything installed correctly? Are metal switches, are they earthed? Just generally, just to see whether it is safe from an electrician's point of view. And of course, there are lots of people out there um, that are electricians that can do this for you. Uh, but the reason you should choose someone 
experienced is because they have seen everything. We have seen, I mean, I've been an electrician for 23 years, so I've seen a lot of electrical installations. Someone who's just come out of college has not seen all the things and they do not know what to look for. So you, when you choose an electrician for this, you should choose someone who's approved, by the way, an approved NICEIC contractor, that's important. And also someone who's been there <laughs> and seen everything. Like I said, I've got the gray hair to prove it now. I've seen all everything you, you can do. I've also won the award. Award, uh, of being Warwickshire's top tradesperson, and that was an award that I won with Screwfix. I've also got a six point guarantee, and you can see that below and also on my website. And also, I just love doing electrical insulation condition reports. I know that sounds like a really nerdy thing to say, but it's a lovely job to do because you can go in and you can look and inspect and report back if there's anything that is unsafe, which ultimately, this is what it's about. It's lovely to help people and it's also lovely to check things to make sure they're safe. So I really hope that all makes sense and gives you a quick sort of whistle-stop tour on what the EICRs are and hopefully it makes sense why it takes a bit longer than most other tests you need to have done in domestic properties because we have to go through everything with a fine tooth comb. If you want me to carry out the test on any properties you have, just call me. The phone number's um, clearly on here or it's on my website or just drop me an email and I'll get back to you as soon as possible and we'll get it booked in. I hope to see you soon. All the best. Bye.